times like with the cobbles you have the cobbles into the race you have the famous uh, the famous races so it's um, yeah that's why it's it, it's very important the races like it's coming it's coming over with the with the culture you know you had some kinds and some types of, of hills like the Koppenberg and the Cuaramo and the Patersberg and it's it's so hard and people who are riding their bike like they're trying it like we have some some people from our team like uh, like uh, our doctor Kevin like he uh, he went with us when we went to do the recon on uh, on Wednesday yeah so I he said you know can you make a parkour for me for 70 kilometers so I did make a parkour on him on the on the Garmin make him a small test of it like 70 kilometers with the Koppenberg with the Guaramo with the Pottersberg and then he realized and he came back and he said like it's so 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 hard the race so people more understand it why the race is so hard and 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 so the value goes up and up and up well the hardest part of the new course is of course the three laps they make it so we have the now you have the three times the Guaramo, three times the Patersberg, and before it was more in the in the middle of the race. After it's, uh, 70 kilometers to go, you had the Guaramo and the Patersberg, and then the next important climb was like the Mühl von Gerasbergen and the Bosberg. That was like a breaking point, the last breaking point into the race. Now with the new parkour in Aldenarde, they said like Aldenarde is like real in the center of the Flemish Ardennes. Yeah. And they said we make now three local laps at that point, so they make it harder and, and, and harder. That's, that's going to be the breaking point. That's no, no. But I have a pretty good story about it when I was uh, 2000 <laughs> and I think 2001, 2002, when they just rebuilt it. They put it in the in the, in the new race again, the uh, the Koppenberg, and. You know, I always trained with Van Pedeghem and with Clear when I was uh, when I was professional. So they asked to Van Pedeghem, can you come there and can you see to the Quaremo? You know, what's uh, what's it like now to take pictures from it? So I went from my house. I only live like 30, 35 k from there. So we went easy towards the Koppenberg, and I went over it 39, 21, 23, I think, 21. It was pretty easy, no stress. And then you come into the race, and then it was like, okay, what type of gear we have to make? You know, what's uh, like 21, 22, uh, 23, or 25? I went on and then 21, so 23 will be enough. We don't need 25. <laughs> so then you come into the race, and you talk to other riders, and they were like, hey, what gear do you have? Of course we have 25. And then the doubts start to come, you know, like, like okay, okay. But then I realized, like, the Koppenberg, it came after 210 kilometers, something like that. So I come to the uh, to the Koppenberg, turning up. We were 20 riders in the front, and I would turn up in sixth or seventh position, I think. And I just, just, just made it.